Hi everyone. Uh, today we are going to make a video on OpenMP cluster setup documentations and how we can set up an OpenMP cluster on multiple servers so that we can run a job into the distributed environment, not just only just single server or just only single processors. So here I write out the complete documentation how we can uh, set up a fully OpenMP cluster. So let's get started. So for here we have five compute nodes which we use for our cluster setup in which we will have the cpus dedicated cpus and ram and additional all the hardware and from here we have to for go to the installation process so before going to the installation process i want to show you what is our architecture so we will have one master node and four worker nodes or you can see compute node and we just mentioned it's pdc node one parallel and distributed nodes 1 2 3 and 4 5 right and we have high speed network of 10 gig and we have shared file system in them also so let's get started what are the specifications so we have master node with intel Xeon e5s cpus and all 128 gb ram and 2 terabyte of ssd and 10 gig of network card and four compute nodes with the similar specifications but little bit less ram and network right and all the nodes are connected via network in the same domain and they are being accessible over the network to each other and you can see this similar kind of network infrastructure right here so first of all we have to install latest ubuntu 2024 lts ubuntu server on all of the nodes if we see os release over here we can see that we have one to 24 lts and it's no welcome back right and so let's get back so after the installation we just have an update to all of our setup so when you run these commands this automatically update your setup and we have the static ip configuration so here uh, for static ip you we can uh, we have a cloud in it machine so we don't have to set up here inside the cluster but if you have the some sort of uh, direct OS configuration so you need to make that this file for your uh, static IP so host configuration we have host file and we mention all of this so if I just say ping pdc node 2 so it will just came from reply and from here uh, we have the SSH passwordless SSH setup so if I just say SSH pdc node 2 so I can directly get SSH on that. So I set up this all the steps are been into the documentation. You can follow found it on to the GitHub or in the video description link also. And then I just disable the firewall so that we don't have to actually uh, mess up with the ports. So my firewall is disabled. We also have the shared file system. So the shared file system is just like that all the servers have the same storage onto that specific folder so right we have the shared folder on all the servers and all the files are saved and synced between them so for that, that purpose we use nfs file system and we have nfs file system running so if it's sudo ctl it is nfs kernel so it said that it's working and enabled so and here we have folder shared that is nfs file so all the files inside this one let's say ls so all the files here are right so, so if i say ssh pdc node 2 and i say ls forward slash shared so you can see same files are also into the pdc node 2 let's come back and to the, all these other steps for to set up the nfs setup for remote file sharing and remote file syncing also and after that once you have set up the os you have set up the network you have set up the password ssh and you have set up your shared files shared storage so now it's time to install the open MPL libraries i already have done that so i don't need to run these commands and after you have installation the open MPLs, now your cluster is ready for running then open mpi job so if i say mpi run 
dash dash variant. So this my open API is running on this setup. And after that, you have to create a machine file. So machine file is just like that. You have to mention on which which servers or on which which nodes you want to run your code or you want to distribute your code. So here I have machine file. So I say machine file. So here I have machine file in which I have mentioned all the servers my server's host name and all the slots number of cpus available there and after that you have to export the your uh, libraries path into your bash rc file and after that you now your server is the cluster is set up and it is ready to for working so here i have multiple kind of jobs available here that are that i can run on multiple servers and distributed environment so in my host machine in my host file okay all right this is my host file i am just excluding my node 5 right for the this demonstration purpose and here so i just wanted to show history and just run this command okay so here I have open MPI run command and I have to specify number of CPUs I want to mention. So I just say 40 and host file contains all the available servers for my open MPI job and example code this one. So let's first see what is the example code cat MPI examples dot cvk. So here you can see this is the code. So I have some sort of lot more code matrix multiplication and then after that pi calculation and after that parallel and processing with pipelines right so and after that some sort of customer data types for ring communication and data sending and receiving and other jobs so let's run that mpi examples so here it running all the results and it's just run in this type so but i specify the 40 cpus the 40 cpus are available on my single node so let's go let's i will see you that i have just only 40 cpus on single machine mm, here let's i say ls cpu and you can see here i have only up to 40 cpus but now let's increase the cpus to 80 now it will distribute the whole task on multiple CPUs and these are the of their results. And here you can see that we can distribute our now we can specify the number of CPUs and you, we can distribute our task on multiple CPUs that are on multiple servers and in distributed environment. So I have a very good example here of just scaling demo. So if I just say cat scaling demo dot cpp, so here is a uh, sort of matrix calculation that we can use to test uh, how much distributed environment effect or how much number of increasing number of processors uh, decreases our computational time. So let's run that. Uh, open MPI host file and uh, scaling them. Right. And let's say if I just go with um, four CPUs. So it will cost me around 0 0.017 seconds. I have one lakh elements and each process have 25,000 elements to process as we have four process. So let's run it with 40 CPUs. So it takes about 0 0.042 seconds. So this is much more time change 0 .0, 0 0.017 seconds and 0 0.042 seconds. So let's go much more bigger scale to let's say 100 and now let's see so right here you can see 0 0.0365 seconds so it just as we are continuously increasing the CPU size it will distribute the task and this is a demonstration of how the scaling of the increasing of hardware will affect our computational time and results. So I hope so you learned much from this so if you we just go back and in main cluster so you have to set up the base os of ubuntu or any linux distribution you want to run you have 
the network setup on all of them and all the servers can communicate directly with each other you should have the passwordless ssh setup so in that way that you have the synced user kind of scenario that one user can run the same file so so i will give you an example here so if when i run mpi run 100 host file this one so in my host file i have mentioned all those the nodes that all the dedicated servers that are available now one two three four so when the mpi calls pdc node four or five so it just send it a command that there is a file in shared folder with scaling demo binaries are available there just run that on number of let's say process 30 processors so if you have shared file system that that node will have the file available locally there and it can run out and that and there is no kind of you can say permissions error if you have user syncs uh, sync also or you have same users on all the cluster and you should have an fs setup as i mentioned earlier you have shared file system and then uh, you have an mpi installation and cluster configuration and i also showed you the testing also so i should conclude here but i just want to show one more thing here to you that you can also see the map how you how the system maps the host file let's i just decrease the cpus to 60 and host file is this dot forward slash scaling demo right so now it will even show you how it just each and every process id each and every process rank it's on the cpu that has been going to it onto the server that allocates it you know, right you can see here that we have data node node 2 maximum slots available number of processors that are we i just said 60 right so it will allocate 42 pdc node 1 22 pdc node 2 and it's all of their job ids rank ids and all of these things you can also see the whole map right here right okay so this is the demonstration hope so you learned something from it Take care.